visiting Yogyakarta Palace will provide both valuable and memorable experience. The palace that became the center of an imaginary line connecting Parang Tritis Beach and Mount Merapi has two booth doors. The first in Tepas Kepraduretan, in front of Lanela Nutara, and in Tepas Tourism Meenri Golkepan. If entering from Tepas Kepraduretan, visitors can only enter banks of Pantleran and City Hingal and see a collection of some palace carriages. If entering from Tepas Paraiwais Arta, then you can enter Sri Manganti Complex and Kedaton where there is Bangzal Kenkano Mean Kenkano Ward that is the main hall of the kingdom. The distance between the first and second booth door was not far, just by walking down Jalan Rotai Giant, visitors can walk or ride a rickshaw. There are many things that can be seen at Yogyakarta Palace, ranging from the activity of servants in the palace who are doing the job or to see properties collection of the palace. Collections are kept in glass boxes that are spread various rooms ranging from ceramics and glassware, weapons, photographs, miniatures and replicas, to various kinds of batik and its diorama of the making process. Furthermore, tourists can also enjoy the art performances with different schedules each day. The show starts from the Makapat, puppet show, shadow puppets, and dances. To enjoy art performances, tourists do not need to pay additional costs. If you come on Tuesday wage, you can watch Jemperang or Archery competition in Matraman style in Kemanthungan Kijul, South Kemanthungan. Jemperang is conducted for the heritage of the 10th Sri Sultan Hewan Kaborwono. The uniqueness of this Jemperang is that every participant must wear Javanese traditional clothing and archery in a sitting position. After enjoying the show Makapat, headed around the palace complex and went into Batik Museum which was inaugurated by Sri Sultan HBX in 2005. The museum collection is quite diverse ranging from a variety of Batik cloth up to the equipment to make Batik from the Heimankka Borwano Ikth up to Heimankka Borwano Tenth. In addition, in the museum, several collections of gifts from a number of batik entrepreneurs in Yogyakarta and other areas were stored. While enjoying the museum's collection, site was on one of the old wells that were built by Sultan Haman Kadawanoigth. On top of a well that has been closed using aluminium netting, there are writings that prohibit visitors to put in money. Being curious with the intention of the sentence, moved closer and looked into the well. It turned out that at the bottom of the well there are coin and paper money was scattered. Being satisfied walking around the palace, stepped out Rigol with cheerful hearts. On the way to the parking lot, a sign that offers classes to learn Nembang, Makapat, write and read Javanese letters, classical dance, and to learn how to be a puppet master was appeared. Apparently, in Yogyakarta Palace Complex, there are several Javanese culture and art course centers or learning centers. Then promised that someday would come back to learn how to spell and write Hanukkah letters and learn to dance. The palace court with its grand and elegant Javanese architecture lies in the center of the city. Prince Mankabumi founded the palace in 1755. The prince then was called the first Sri Sultan Haman Kaborwono and he chose the right location of the compound between Wainonga River and Code River. The palace stretches out from north to south. The front yard is called Alanilan Utara mean the north square, and the backyard is called Alanilan Selatan mean the south square. The layout of the buildings shows that the palace, the commemorative column and Mount Merapi lie in one line. The palace meeting hall is called Paitleran, where formal meetings of palace officials are held, while the Mangunjatinkil Hall is the place where the Sultan is seated. The visitors can enjoy the atmosphere of the Kraton in former times by visiting the life-size diorama of wedding ceremonies on the palace meeting hall, performed by puppets.
which are intentionally arranged to create such an atmosphere. Sets of Javanese musical instruments, antiques and heirlooms have made the palace of Yogyakarta worth to visit. Many sets of gamelan music instruments, antiques, and heirlooms make the palace of Yogyakarta the most interesting tourist attractions in Yogyakarta. The palace of Ngayogyakarta Hedemengrat is now the dwelling place of the 10th Sultan Haman Kubono and the family. West of the palace, there is Water Castle, built in 1758 by the prince, the first Sultan Haman Kikabowono. The Water Castle is located in the older part of the city within walking distance from the bird market. Part of the pleasure garden and castle is at present no more than an intriguing collection of ruins, pools, arches and underground passages enclosed by massive walls. However, the central courtyard with the nymph baths has been restored. A number of batik workshops line the avenue leading to the pleasure garden's entrance. Yogyakarta Palace is not only home to the king and his family, but also becomes the flame guard of Javanese culture. In this place you can learn from seeing directly on how culture still preserved in the the pace development of the world. Kai I Brajanala bell chimes several times, its voice not only filled but heard up to City Hingal and Bangs or Pagler and Yogyakarta Palace. While in Sri Manganti, the chanting in Javanese ancient language is heard being sung by a palace servant. An old book, offerings, lanterns, and gamelan lay in front of him. Some foreign tourists seem to listen to Makapat song solemnly, and sometimes they are looked pressing the shutter button to take pictures. Although did not know the meaning of the song, I also sat in the front row. Javanese song sound that floated slowly mixed with fragrance of flowers and incense smoke created a magical atmosphere that created it complacent. On the right side appeared four other palace servants who took turn preparing to sing. Outside the pavilion, the birds chirp noisily while flew from the sapoda treetops which usually grow in Yogyakarta palace complex and then landed on the grass. Keratin Kasultan and Gyogyakarta Hedeningrat or now better known by the name of Yogyakarta Palace is the center of Javanese culture living museum that is in the special region Yogyakarta. Not just becomes the place to live for the king and his family, the palace is also a main direction of cultural development of Java, as well as the flame guard of the culture. At this place tourists can learn and see directly on how the Javanese culture continues to live and be preserved. Yogyakarta Palace was built by Panjaran Mangkabumi Mean Prince Mangkabumi in 1755, several months after the signing of the Purjanji and Janti Mean the Agreement Janti. Banyan Forest Mean Hutenbirinin was chosen as the place for building the palace because the land was between two rivers that were considered good and protected from possible flooding. Although already hundreds of years old and were damaged by the massive earthquake in 1867, Yogyakarta Palace buildings still stand firmly and well maintained. This palace was designed to be more than just a royal residence. It was built to be a focal point of the Sultan's entire kingdom. When the Sultan passed away, the cortege will leave by the southern gate and head its way to the royal cemetery located in Imogairi. Today, the Kraton is a piece of living history and tradition. It continues to be used, both as a home of the Sultan as well as for other important ceremonial and cultural functions of the Yogyakarta court. Sitai Hingil is the highest level of the Kraton area, where the formal ceremonies, like the coronation are held. There are two Sitai Hingil pavilions in the palace area. Sitai Hingil Law is located on the north side and Sitai Hingil Kidul is on the south side, that later was repurposed from the location of the army's rehearsal point, to become a monument, dedicated to mark 200 years of the Yogyakarta Sultanate named Jujungsasna Hingil Dwiabad. On weekends, you can enjoy art performances such as music, 
dance and the special way I ank you little leather puppet show.